got one more video in the old tank for me to record and then I think I am done for this day. Welcome back ladies and gentlemen. As always, my name is Lunar and I'm sending out a lot of love to you guys and I'm hoping you take fate into your own hands for your sake, not mine. No, I'm just joking. For the love of the soul, bro, that's why I'm here. So I hope you take fate into your own hands because fate does not control you, you control your fate. In this video, I wanna drill it one more time how reality is an emotional mirror. And I'm actually joking about saying one more time, I'm gonna keep drilling it until this is the one video that y'all watch and y'all are like, okay, this man isn't joking, like reality is emotional mirror. What I want you to do, what I want you to do, oh, wow, bro, that's so cool. Oh, she's so dope for that. That's so nice. So I was record. okay, so let me just say this. This is so dope, wow. See, and this, this actually ties into reality being an emotional mirror. See, I cut the clip of the last video because I did just try to shoot this and then I was like, never mind. But I, my, my heart literally goes out to that lady. That was so dope. Like just little things like that make me, like are when I'm saying how reality is an emotional mirror. So right here, this, this kind of like street I'm on is kind of like a back roads to like different houses. And it's so cool. It's like, I love the alleys here, but like there's multiple of these roads and they're like little like alleyways you can go down. So she, she pulls up to the side of me and uh, I thought she was going to pull in here. And I said, oh, like you need me to move real quick? And she was, oh, no, 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 it's fine. And she went around the block to go because she seen me recording. That's so cool. Like, that's so cool. Like literally, I, I humble myself and I'd be like, I'm literally nobody standing here. Like she could have, nah, she went around. That was so cool. Anyways, that's what I mean by reality being an emotional mirror. I take this very serious what I do. I like no joke. Like I'm telling you guys, I'm here to break the matrix and break the whole simulation. So e either way, I'm getting my message out there. But I take it so serious that that was almost like that. That was a synchronicity or a reflection of that. Like she just was like, you know what? Let me not interrupt and go around. She could have fully said, you know what, well, fuck it, today I'm going through. And I know certain people would do that, but I really do feel like that was a reflection of, like, just the work being done. It was no no verbal communication. It was literally, like, hand signs and face signs, and it was so sweet. I was like, I was like, oh, that was so cool when I seen it. But then when I seen that, that was sweet. Now getting into what I'm talking about, that was, that was a great thing to see. I literally did not have to turn my head. Do you see how that happens? I could have just been sitting this, like this straight recording this video and I never would have seen that but something made me just look that's so dope I didn't even know she was down there that's dope okay <laughs> back into the video and reality being an emotional mirror boom there we go we got a good example like I'm taking myself serious about my work and people treat your work like it's serious because shoot I could be sitting here talking about Legos and she would have never known that <laughs> truth is is I want you I have an exercise for you guys today I want you to observe how your day starts and and start your day because it's really important in the morning like literally not even breakfast being the important most important meal of the day because sometimes people fast for three days and they don't have a breakfast so I want you to observe how you start your day I'm talking about write it down if you get annoyed at something write it down and we're gonna get into that deeper in the video but keep that in mind write exactly how you react to something if you stub your toe if you bump your elbow if you try to keep like a little notepad on you or try to like write it down in your notes if you have your phone about how you reacted to it or if you didn't react and don't lie to yourself because this is going to be very important and honestly the universe or god or the source whatever you believe in is not going to let you forget this anyways now and i love this because we're going to get into why to more of like how reality is an emotional mirror because that shit literally like i'm feeling really good and that happened great and literally when I was trying to record so many videos, well, I want to actually get this get this a little bit in the middle, but why I'm going to have you do this, and please, if you guys are really testing this and really doing it, because this is for you, this does not benefit me, this will benefit you to pay attention to how you're creating your reality, or because of the way you react to things, how things unfold in your day. No matter how shitty the day is, I'm going to tell you guys. So, right off the bat, I want you to observe how your morning starts maybe a little bit into the into like the early afternoon and then just watch how the rest of your day plays out all right and i want you to do this if you can the first day may you may not really see anything but i want you to do it for three nights i like the number three because three is a magic number so do it for three nights and see if you could do this every morning and observe and and then also i want you to if you're someone who doesn't really react or doesn't really get mad 
um, faking it's a little bit hard. So if you're someone who does react, this is gonna be great for you. If you're someone who doesn't react, well, my friend, you're on the step to doing some crazy shit, <laughs> but it's really good. So I'm someone who doesn't really react. So when I react, it actually really bothers me a lot because I'm really nonchalant about things. I'm gonna tell you why it's so good. And when, if you're someone who reacts, why well, you're gonna wanna get on this weight. But to talk about reality being an emotional mirror, everything that you start your day off with, not even kidding, and every little thing that you react to is spiraling you into whatever you create next. And if you've seen The Secret, you know exactly what I'm talking about, but I experienced it today, and thank goodness that I ended the cycle super fast because that, that that just happened with the lady could have went differently. Because of what I experienced, I could have bridged the timeline where she wanted to pull down here and she was actually frustrated with me sitting here recording. But I didn't. So I'm gonna give you, um, if you've never seen The Secret, I'm gonna explain something really quickly. And I wonder if this dude mowing the lawn, I, I've just kind of been talking, but I don't know if the mowing the lawn has been bad for the audio. Hopefully not, because I'm still gonna post this. But, <laughs> and then I'll make it again, because I don't care. Um, uh, biggest thing is when you stub your toe, when you hit your head, when you get angry and you react to it, you are setting yourself up to experience more of that. You're, you're setting yourself up to experience it in different forms too. But I've talked to this about this before. If you have seen my interview with Max Igan, I was laughing talking to him where he literally said, yeah, the universe will smack you upside the head. Like get a grip, bro. What are you doing? You're not paying attention. And literally, my um i'm really tall i was really I, all right i'm really tall at my mom's house for the basement like literally these stairs i had to go down i could hit my head every time my partner's father was over there and he was like how do you never hit your head going down this bro I, I feel like a ninja i dodge it every time one morning one lovely morning and it doesn't have to just be morning it could be any time when you react to something angrily i reacted i was literally like this like me and her got into a little thing and i was like oh my gosh like Man, I don't even want to be doing this right now. I don't, I don't like drama. I go upstairs. I kid you not, I can't believe this happened. The moment I come down, smack my head on the, on it's like this like ceiling thing that goes into the basement. It's like the, almost like the floor to the upstairs, but it's the ceiling for the basement. I smack my head on it. I hit it and I was like, immediately because I have high awareness, I hit it and I go, oh my gosh. I literally hit my head because I got frustrated with her and I let it build up so bad in me that boom that played out and I'm not even kidding after I was over it I hit my head twice more on it literally adding up to three which is the magic number but I'm, t I'm telling you this and I have multiple other times where this happens in reality but now I'm gonna wrap it up to the end on why I said like I'm gonna move this to the end and tell you about reality being an emotional mirror or like drilling it in again is literally that whatever you react to in your reality will play out again and if you've seen the secret this happened with multiple um scenarios they gave you but one was example receiving a bill in the mail reality is dishing out to you everything you believe to be true so when you receive a bill in the mail and you're like oh my gosh i got a bill like oh man look at this you're feeding to the universe because it's your subconscious mind. You're feeding to the universe that you want to experience that again. The universe, like, the universe can't tell the difference. It's emotion. It's intense emotion. That's why you got to be intense about what you want to create. So you're literally telling the universe, you're sending out those vibes, those frequencies that you want more bills. So now when you see another bill pop up in the mail, you're thinking these are logical events. You're like, okay, yeah, I got this bill because of so-and-so-and-so scenario. Oh, because I didn't do um, X, Y, Z. Oh, I didn't do X, Y, Z here, so now it's popping up. So you're feeding and feeding and feeding the reality that you're someone who keeps receiving bills. So the universe has to conspire to keep bringing you bills. And if you see my Black Honda Civic video, this ties into exactly how I created it. I denied my external reality and said, I am going to have a black Honda Civic. And when I said I'm going to, I said, fuck it, I'm going to switch it to, I have a black Honda Civic. Now I convinced my deeper mind that I don't not have a car. So now a car had to appear outside. And now the universe conspired to literally get me that car or God or the source or whatever you believe in. And this even plays into what I'm telling you about reacting to the small things in your reality. Do not react. 
Like I even this morning, what happened to me is um, there's a couple of my roommates that I talked about in another video that wanted me to teach them the law of attraction. And I said, all right, but you got to drill it. You got to be militant about it because the difference between the law working and the law not working is just like electricity, which they tell you in the secret. Electricity, you can enjoy the benefits of electricity without understanding it, and you can cook a man's meal with electricity, and you can also cook the man, which is exactly saying that the law of attraction or understanding that reality is an emotional mirror can cook you after you know it, or it could be to your benefit. And in this case, it cooked them because I, I was telling them, hey, y'all got to stop repeating these cycles. Y'all got to focus up and be ready. But to know, no, you know, no, no matter how intense I get about it, it's not going to help because you can only help yourself and they got to realize for themselves. Just like Dick Gregory was saying, when the universe or source or God gives you those glasses to see the world for what it is, you cannot force other people to wear them. And that's the biggest thing that I'm learning now. Again, honestly, I know. So I'm just getting reminded that I need to stop and put my energy back into me. But, you know, I seen that they were drinking again. And I was just like, and I said that at 11, 11, I seen that they were drinking again, going out on the weekends, just living for the weekends, not really living for anything else. And I said, you know what? All right. I said, that I, to me, it was just felt like they're not trying to drill in the drill in what they wanted me to teach them. So now I'm realizing I'm going to bet I'm going to take my step back. And uh, th this morning, <laughs> I woke up, and uh, I say my roommates, but it was one of it was my cousin. But my cousin was like, uh, "Oh, you didn't, you're just gonna stare at somebody like you're not gonna say good morning." And like I said, that energy or that type of energy forward is a projection. That's a projection on how they feel. I'm having a great morning. I'm not like, yeah, y'all doing you. I'm going out to record and do my thing. So you know, like. But you're just showing me that your patterns and your behaviors are not changing. So then your external reality is not going to change. It's just going to become more of the same. So I left it up to that. And this isn't to talk bad about my cousin or my roommates. Anyways, I'm just saying like you're seeing the law cook the man. You're seeing electricity cook the person. This is electricity. You're enjoying the benefits, but it can also cook you. So the law of attraction, reality being an emotional mirror, it is always there. It is, it is always there. You can't get rid of it. It's creating your reality right now. The only difference between what people think they're learning the law or learning it is you're not learning it. It's always happening. And I've known this. I just say learn because it's easier to understand. But you're not actually learning it. You're just becoming aware that your thoughts, your emotions, and your self-concept is creating the reality that you're experiencing currently. And that's it. And that's the best way I could put that because I feel like I'm an expert on this now. So why not keep teaching it? Why not keep trying to put it out? But I'm honestly doing it for your benefit. I don't really want anything in return. I just want the message to get louder and louder and louder. And I don't even want it to get louder and louder and louder. I know it's going to get louder and louder and louder. Anyway. Smacking this wire. Man, I need, I need a wireless. Little mic. But regardless, anyways, that's my whole thing. Much love and moonlight to y'all. I'm out of here. And remember, reality is an emotional mirror. So try not to react to things that happen to you and try to pull you out your path because I'm feeling great. And after I realize it, it helps me be back in my energy. And now I'm back in my energy. The sun's shining. I'm getting light codes right now. The melanin's sucking it all in. Anyways, I'm out of here. I love you guys. Peace.